change the channel. Sometimes you gotta change the channel. Tired of watching this? Gotta watch that. And I welcome you because the lion of Zion is roaring louder than ever before. Look to the heavens for signs. And, hey, Mike, I'm sorry, babe, but that's not on our and welcome to the, the true Da Vinci Code. The other was fictional work, well crafted and genius, uh, but true. No. But now, through an extrapolation, I bring you the words of Leonardo. Now, I have not changed his words, but. I've, in order to connect the dots, you got to put like with like, potato, potato, tomato, tomato. I'll give you two quick examples. These are the days of COVID, days of the trial of all flesh, come to bring God's word of patience to keep us from the hour of the temptation not to change by love, Revelation 3. That is the same event that has been foretold in Daniel 12. Since before it, there was any nation such a time of great distress as never has been, there has never been a worldwide pandemic like with like. To extrapolate, that means that the great white cloud of Matthew 24 is the same great white cloud provably as Revelation 14. So these are the days when we got to put apples together with apples, oranges with oranges, in order to make any sense of anything. And when you look at prophecy at all, if there's a little word if, that's an awfully big word because it's conditional. What Leonardo prophesied is the worst, but yes, also some glimpses of the best. He left a warning for latter days, if people will properly interpret Leonardo da Vinci's words, because he was m more of a prophet than he was an artist, and we know how great an artist he was. But he was the inventor of the helicopter. He was the inventor of so much and uh, the flying machine. And uh, so extrapolations in order to decipher the intent of his heart, you got to read it all. <laughs> and that's a lot of, a lot can be dry, but you know, this world has a bad habit of throwing our babies with bath water something looks hard to read or hard to understand, they don't want to bother. And yet, if there's a hidden jewel shining, just waiting to be uncovered, then people are missing the boat. So welcome to the true Da Vinci codes. And I, I welcome you. So love to love, hope from hope, and peace from our Prince of Peace. These are the days where the words look to the heavens for signs and wonders are just exploding all over the circle of, of the earth. And there's, there's not a day that goes by that there's not many, many multitudes of sightings. And this is the truest truth. Uh, in this day and age, uh, the, our visitors, the watchers, of the word of uh, God uh, as far back as the book of Enoch. They have been watching for a very good reason. And if you, if once you hear the uh, blessing of Da Vinci Code, the true Da Vinci Code, judge for yourself, but there, you have to realize when you read prophecy, two other things, the prophecy has been told not to tell the future, but to change it. An example there would be, Jonah was told, go tell the people in Nineveh, they will be destroyed in 40 days. They were not, even though God said, and it is written in Jonah 3 that they relented and God changed his mind because the people gave God the desire of his heart. 
And likewise in these latter days, Jeremiah 30, 24 has been a delayed prayer because it says in the latter days, this shall be considered. And it's written, it says that, and it, and it says, I will be your God, you will be my people. I will forgive your iniquity, I will never remember it. I'll write my law and my love upon your hearts. And beyond that, no one will ever need to be taught anymore about me, says the Lord God. For all those who have their love alive as a little child, they're born again. For those who love are born of God and know God because God is love. And when it comes to these guys, they're just brothers of other mothers. There's many, many kinds of fish in the sea. And these guys are much more advanced than us, but we were created last because we are even a more beautiful angelic being than these guys once we pass into glory. And because the first is last and the last is first. So welcome and mercy for mercy, faith from he who is faith and love from he who is love. And know that love is not even love unless it is given away. And forgiveness is love, and love is forgiveness. And please try to understand the utter gospel truth that there has never been any divine love upon planet Earth whatsoever if it was not unconditional love. Ask yourself the question, what glory could there possibly be in any love that is commanding demanding, manipulative, judgmental, uh, and accusing. Uh, there is no real love. It's, it's a shallow kind of love. Uh, so if you want truest love, the kind of love that the, that the angels or demons, we are angels or demons, they are angels or demons. We can be evil or we can be... Uh, good beings, and at heart most people are good. Uh, there's a country song I love that, most people are good. And I'm sure you guys might know about that uh, song, I hope. So welcome, and get ready now. Let's blast off into the extrapolation of the Da Vinci Code. Um, so it was a truth that was written into some ancient parchment of the Renaissance period that the true Da Vinci Codes were actually written upon paper in Leonardo's very own hand. And nor were there ever any kind of codes painted into any of his paintings. Neither does it take any Einstein to figure out the meaning of some of his words as they were recorded for all generations so that his most unusual puzzles of literature could someday be solved. And so now they have been, judge for yourself. And it came about that this artist of the Last Supper prophesied this, saying, It shall seem to men that they will see new destruction in the sky, and the flames descending from there shall steal away the darkness as night flees away in terror. But in the middle of that fleeting darkness, many men shall see the most splendid, radiant, uh, radiant splendors of light. O marvel of mankind, what frenzy has thus impelled you? But he also warned, and these are his words, uh, he also warned uh, that many torrents of those furious flames would uh, humanity sadly bear as some unearthly forces mingle away in our heavens aflame during their rapid course. And of the fire which mingles its heat, all the elements shall be seen confounded together, surging a huge rolling mass now towards the center of the earth, now towards the sky, within a moment of a moment, directionality. This is a dimensional uh, understanding. And he saw the dimensions, uh, the, the, the hidden things. He saw with the eye of his, his mind. And uh, of this dream did Leonardo for sure have nightmares and for his mind raced towards some apocalyptic days when the signs and wonders in our heavens would be frightening to behold if we will not uh, arise in a brotherhood of love to overcome all problems that are opposing us. And due to the very serious nature of Leonardo's incredible sights of 
enlightening revelation, people need to ask themselves a real important question so they won't be ignorant. Uh, was that man of many puzzles talking about these days of many unanswered riddles? I propose he was. And was that man of in, uh, intrigue talking about these alarming days of COVID-19, which have been bringing forth many freaky, freaky happenings increasing, and the amount of uh, ET sightings are off the charts, and the government's no longer, uh, they've declassified so much, they're no longer saying, no. they're saying, yeah, they're here. <laughs> it's been that way for a long time. Presidents, uh, Jimmy Carter, uh, Ronald Reagan, both had uh, ET sightings and probably some of the other ones. But uh, so ask yourself, was he talking about these alarming days uh, uh, of man's ongoing dissatisfaction? This world is, is the worst disease is COVID. And uh, that's what Billy Graham always said. Uh, you know, the other stuff is not good, but loneliness is by far the very worst disease. So Da Vinci also wrote about the shadow-like equality of some haunting objects which would taunt mankind near the tail end of this age when his disturbing visions would come to pass. Therefore, Leonardo predicted that the movements of one of the orbs, because there would be many fiery orbs floating around, moving faster than any propulsion system that we have ever de designed. And so he predicted that the movements of one shall be as the other, but it shall seem like a covering of wonder because of the different dimensions which those shadowy things assume. And it, 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 it shall soon be clear uh, that this master artist was long ago writing about the same kind of wild things that are truly out of this world in a very literal way. And neither shall Da Vinci's secret remain unfolded, for many dark clouds of bottled up answers shall now be loosed for all to see as his vision is now open. And only then shall his encoded words fall upon wait awaiting ears that have been prepared to hear the truth of, of the ages. Tis a fact that's been sown into the fabric of reality that many multitudes of witnesses of us would eventually stand up and be counted amongst the millions of people who have seen UFOs. Even Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll, had a close encounter uh, with the of the weirdest kind many years ago, along with People like Jimi Hendrix and Muhammad Ali, Jackie Gleason, David Bowie, Dan Aykroyd, and a host of other celebrities. And nor could any of them ever deny their experiences. Uh, and as every close encounter of the first kind, the second kind, or third kind came forth, people's nerves were shaking uh, because of ignorance, just because we don't understand. So there is a fear uh, for those that walk by fear, but it's time that we need to stir up our love unto overflowing. Because the truth is, I'm going to fix my camera, the truth is that there has never been one person that has ever been hurt by any alien beings that I, I know of. And uh, so praise God that these are days when... Uh, when people need to, to change directions. And it came about um, that close encounters of the 12th kind came forth around the year 2012. Even Mother Nature and Father Time plugged their ears, for that was the beginning of time's eventual end uh, when our heavens began crying forth the name that's always been far above all others, and his name is love, and all creation is groaning for that revelation. So it was a predestined, it was predestined that these would become days of some quiet, uh, blood-curdling screeches, some nights of shrieks, some hours of nature's yelps, and some moments of demonic shouts, uh, as well as some seasons of heaven's cries, and the uneasy period of blistery winds uh, yelling no good, 
for the winds that are blowing now of the apocalypse had to start blowing sooner uh, than, than later as the earth entered the fast track into years that shall prove accursed by the fallen sons of uh, less and light if we will not follow the sons of love. So wherever love leads us, that is where we should go. And as those winds began blowing, there, there's been no future. Um, there's no future that the damnation wishes of uh, space traveling demons and the abduction dreams of many sorry souls that would escalate until such false visions are rebuked. And many um, use the name of Christ and they awake. These are um, of demonic nature. And uh, it's very sure thing that billions of souls are wicked, uh, easy prey unto the wicked powers uh, of the fallen ones uh, who desire to rattle our cages hard enough that the resounding echoes of many clanging clangs would cause the eyes of unlearned people to stay off of the old rugged cross. Uh, for the true meaning of that cruel tree easily keeps the most hostile aliens at bay much easier than any fictional vampires ever kept uh, uh, were destroyed by a wooden stake of the sharpest kind. And that is God's honest truth. So uh, back to Da Vinci. Uh, another prophecy dealt with the kind of annoying noises that would even spook a real spooky spook. For that inventor of the helicopter and the airplane predicted some frightful nights of fret that would be announced from the heavens for all of Adam's race to hear. And all over the world there's been funky noises uh, that we can't figure out. And when it comes to this invasion that he foretold of our airway, of our airways, some of his words need to be amplified so that they can echo all over the four corners of earth like some musical notes happily resound. And even though the meaning of some of Leonardo's words aren't, aren't extremely clear, they're clear enough and it's plain enough to hear that his words are charged with a darkened mystery that is worthy of study and looking at. So it was a, a remarkable time in that artist's life, in that prophet's life, when word be, words became his paint, um, while a real mystery became his canvas. And to every soul who would end up scratching their heads, it would become easy for them to tell that the model which Leonardo chose would be the kind of weird enigma that would greatly puzzle even the brightest people. Even stupid people would only come to hear words that were nonsensical to them uh, if they looked, uh, at, if they just looked at his wor word. For dull-minded souls were never fated to be able to to connect the dots and understand uh, all of that master's real codes, which were far too hard for any unenlightened people to ever grasp. You cannot be unenlightened of revelation and understand what da Vinci was saying. So it was also a, a, a fantastic moment of fantasy come alive when that genius of art, he, when he finally allowed his mind to start wandering down some extremely dark roads where nobody else would ever want to go. So it was additionally the uh, amazing time when Leonardo's words would be greatly in, in, enhanced, for it was inevitable that the day would finally come forth when modern man would finally be able to listen to Leonardo's words with a retrospect of 21st century knowledge in their understanding. And if his cryptic words were true prophecy, which I maintain they were, the days had to come to pass when the howling winds of earth would quietly come alive with some shock and awe while be, being filled with the greatest wonder from coast to coast, land to land, and ocean to ocean. And that was also predestined to become the mystical time in these latter days when even the clouds were fated to silently re retreat towards a brand new day when heavenly signs shall be not necessary any longer. A uh, time of obsolescence. 
nor could any critic of matters of interpretation ever argue that da, Vinci, da Vinci's words weren't meant to be interpreted as literal, uh, for his words were crystal clear that a noise would consume the souls of many people and cause them to fall prey to some very tired spirits of weariness. Uh, finally, have the words of Leonardo da Vinci found their truest purpose. Finally can his meanings be appreciated, for the words of that genius have finally been interpreted when he exclaimed this, and these are the words of Leonardo. He said, and the bells of mules, donkeys, and the bells of mules which are close to their ears, it shall come about that a soft gloomy boom which shall ring away with a most eerie harmony that always sings of doom. And of the ringing bells of mules, which are close to their ears, it shall additionally come about that there will be a quiet cry of heaven's terror, a subtle whelp of sadness, and a sound of many vibrations that will quietly resonate. And those unnatural alarming winds of much chiming grief will then be all cluttered up with some uneasy level uh, levels of unspoken paranoia. And those resounding winds of great displeasure uh, of them, such spine-tingling noise, shall make diverse melodies, di diverse uh, different kinds of melodies, that shall cause great weariness unto all those hearing them most closely. And of those clanging bells of mules which are close, to their ears, it shall also come about uh, that those screeching sounds of many evil instruments shall be heard by horrified multitudes. And of those vibrating bells of mules which are close to their ears, the dreary days of that horrific noise shall arise as a plague uh, to co confront the ears of the wise who are able to, to hear. And Wow. Even God's elect shall be mournful due to those most fearful ringing noises which shall be far too close to their ears. Then much hysteria will befall everyone who doesn't put their other ear up to heaven so that uh, their perfect love can cast out fear because there is nothing to fear about these happenings except fear itself. Um, and uh, so only by doing that can our own peace be still in the midst of great commotion. So it's also a fact, it's a fact that's also written on, into the, to the stone of Revelation 6.10, that the days of the four horsemen riding upon a great white, uh, black, red, and pale horse would be a time of great sounds in, in the heavens. And praise God that Christ is the rider of the white horse, um, and he shall overcome the other three evil ones. And he has a bow and an arrow, and the arrow is found in Isaiah 49, his end time servant. So praise God that the Lord will conquer. Uh, and uh, it's also a fact that's, that's written that it'll come to pass in those days of hell and death trailing behind those galloping steeds of overflowing punishments that the noise of those four will sadly be be heard the the three evil ones uh, but christ will muffle that in in the end uh, fast forward the lord plans on saving this earth one heart at a time as he stirs up love within all of his people because he's going to be pouring out his spirit of love upon all flesh. The great is the ocean of his adoration, for sure. And uh, so know that uh, in these days, the word from Jeremiah 8, 16, will then now start resounding after all the snorting of those horses will abide at the doorway of doom while the sounds of their name, the, the three evil ones, will haunt the disturbed air that's far above the earth's dismay. And then shall the pounding uh, hoofbeats of those uh, three evil stallions uh, of many broken dreams come forth to scare multitudes more than silly if we will not 
stir up our love. So praise God. The Lord wants to make us free from all fear. And I assure you that uh, from all of my understanding, uh, the world has misjudged these visitors. Um, I have had contact through vision and dreams. My sister did too. And both of us felt nothing but holiness. And uh, fortunately, uh, I was dealing with a good entity because there have been not so good ones too. And people have uh, these abductions can be horrific in their imaginations, but never to my knowledge has anyone ever been killed by or hurt or maimed. But um, definitely it's a spiritual happening. Uh, in body or out of body, these people aren't even sure. But it's time to get with new programs of new understanding uh, that the words of Da Vinci were given as, as a, uh, a compass so that we would know where we are in this hour. So love from love, hope from hope. And please, uh, don't, don't uh, hide these videos under a rock. Uh, start liking, sharing, because the message of all these videos is that God is a Lord God of equality and he loves us all equally. There is a reason why God is, Google it if you don't believe me, um, for all people of love who's walking with the Spirit with their love light on, not committing blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, letting their love wax cold so that their love becomes a noun instead of a verb. That's why Jesus said you got to be as a little child. But for all of those people that are willing to walk in love, uh, eyes cannot see or minds cannot conceive of the, the, the glory that is yet to be revealed. And these guys are, believe it or not, for the most part, on our side. And there is contact being made uh, through mental telepathy. These beings are interdimensional and they can pop in and out and they can travel like at the speed of thought. So praise God that um, uh, uh, there is no bad news and there is no condemnation upon our visitors. And uh, But yet we do have to be a little bit cautious. But uh, they're looking for pure hearts, hearts of love. And uh, for those that have made connections, their hearts, believe me, have been stirred up and uh, because once we realize who we are, all of creation has been groaning with great expectation for the revelation of who are the sons and daughters of God, brother of another mother. True story.